Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Happy uh, Thursday. I got uh, my brother-in-law's wheels in yesterday for his 2013 soft tail. Let me go ahead and show them to you, man. These things are beautiful. So I not only got the wheels, I got the tires. Uh, I already got an appointment to have them mounted and balanced. I got both of the throttle cables. I got the clutch cable, I got the spark plugs. I got the wires. What else, what else? Um, oh, I got the brake line. Let me show you guys really quick. So I got the brake line, right? That goes from there, from right up here and it curves up and then the other line comes up to the master cylinder. So it's gonna replace this guy right here. See how it curves? This actually connects to the ABS unit and then that bottom section there, which is really the top connects to the, uh, to the master cylinder, upper master cylinder. So anyways, let's uh, check out these beautiful wheels. So how's everybody doing, man? I hope you guys are all having a good week. Um, I don't know if it was the medication yesterday, but man, I got I got pretty sick. It was uh, it was pretty strong, and uh, I don't know if I accidentally doubled the dosage or what, or I took them too soon. But man, that really uh, really got me. So hang tight here. I'm gonna move you guys closer. So check these guys out, man. This is the front wheel right here. I looked at the back wheel yesterday. Oh my God, man, it's beautiful. Check them out, guys. So these, <clears throat> these are stock 16 inch wheels. They already have the uh, ABS on, on the other side. This is just the normal. These were specifically made. It already came with the uh, valve stem. And look at the spokes, man. These things are absolutely beautiful. So yeah, let's take them out because I'm gonna actually have to uh, put the, uh, the rotors on them. So let's get these guys out. Look at that thing. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. So I guess we'll do it right here. Get the rotor on this baby. And we'll leave this box here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use those boxes to actually uh, to take the rims to the shop to have them uh, to have them mounted. I like to fold these uh, big staples because man, these things get stuck. They get stuff gets scratched on them. They get snagged up. So here is the rear. This one already has the valve stem and these are tubeless. You do not need to put a tube inside of these guys. So uh, this is the uh, sprocket side, the belt sprocket side. And over here is the, uh, the rotor side because it has the uh, ABS bearing in there. Man, these guys did a great job. I love it. So let's get started uh, putting the, uh, the sprockets on these guys or the uh, rotors on these guys this is the front rotor it's labeled front and uh let me get you guys closer man it's cold it's 50 uh it's 50 uh 50 something degrees today it's freaking freezing that's gonna look really really good and here's the bolts. I just got to see what the uh, the torque's actually on them. Let me look in the book real quick and see what the torque is on these guys. There's grooves right here that tell you this is the outside. And then it's flat right there. So you always got to pay attention to what you're doing. So put that on the right one. And I'm glad that they gave me new uh, stainless steel bolts. So that's great. Get some Loctite on these guys. I usually keep a, an extension on it. So I don't do that. I might as well just put them in with my hands rather than, and then I'll use the ratchet to, uh, to tighten them up. So 
So this one calls, the front rotor calls for 16 to 24 pounds, 16 to 24. Usually we try to go like in the middle, but I mean, I'm going to go 20, 20 is good. Might just go a little bit more. You know, I like to, I like to put a little more on the torque wrench when I'm torquing something. So you want to get them snugged up, right? And the reason why I'm putting these on there now is because where I'm taking the wheels, the machine, the balancer has brushes on it. And if you don't have a rotor on your wheel, it's not going to balance it. It won't read it. So you have to put the rotor on it or the, uh, on the rear one, you put the rotor and the sprocket or either one, but they use the rotor or the on the rear of the sprocket to, to balance them out. So I got, I got 20 on this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to 21. 21 is good. So of course I'm going to torque these guys in a spiral pattern. I'm going to kind of hold on to the wheel because it's going to want to turn on me. See, that's one of the things that I don't like about It did not get messed up. It just fit in there perfectly. So let's do this one now. So we're going to rotate to every other one, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand it up. Put my foot in front of it. Still wants to spin. Strip this guy. Ah, oh, shit. That's one thing about some of these bolts. If you're not holding them right, right down in the center, like that fucker right there wants to strip on me now. Let's see if I can take it out. I'm gonna take it out. I might have to go get some better bolts. You know what? I might have some. These damn things strip too easy, man. Let's see if I got a better socket. All right. So I got that one on. I'm going to get it back in the box so I can get it packaged up to go. So let's get this baby back in here. tape on that really quick all right so that wheel is ready to go that's ready to go all right let's get this girl and so this is the rotor side all right so we're going to put the hub on first let me clean that thing up all right, guys, so I cleaned up the sprocket. Wasn't too bad. It's, it's in good condition. And I got new bolts for it. Now, the way... This is going to be kind of hard, man. Maybe I should wait till the tire's on this guy. I think I should. I should put just the rotor on there. And the reason why I'm saying that is because is it's going to be really hard for me to torque this to 75 pounds without the tire being on it. So you know what? I'm not gonna put this on. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rotor on. I'll put this, I'll put the, uh, the belt drive, the sprocket on later. So yeah, guys, my bad. It's gonna be too hard for me to torque that. Well, it's not on the wheel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the, uh, you guys see that little piece of powder coating right there? They did a great job, but 
you don't want powder coating to be on there because you want that you want that uh the rotor to sit on there true i'm getting all the powder coating off because that rotor needs to be 100 percent true all right so having the rear rotor on there is going to be perfectly fine <clears throat> that's all we need is the rear and again this goes against the wheel the flat part and then these indentions right here that's where the actual bolts rest Again, the spacer doesn't need to be used. So we'll toss that up there. And, uh, hi Leo. Maybe we can get these bolts. These bolts are supposed to be torqued, I think 30, 35 to 40. Let me see what the book says. 30 to 45. 30 to 45 so these look okay so we'll get these on there put a little bit of Loctite on each one we don't want them coming off and what's good about it is the blue Loctite doesn't dry real fast it gives you time you know, to get them all on there and then torque them. It dries a little bit slower, but if you use the red, you got to torque that pretty quick. And red is extra strength. It says 243 is better than 242, which is also a blue. But red, you won't be able to ever get these off. I mean, it'd be hard. You'd probably strip them before you took them off. These aren't going to come off anyways, but these are going to be a little bit harder to torque. But they are bigger. The bolts are bigger because it's the rear wheel. The heads on the other ones were a lot smaller. All right, let me grab a bigger socket now. I think this is a 732. And when you're dealing with stuff like this, man, it's always best to cover the wheel. Sorry, Leo. Daddy wasn't trying to get mad at you earlier, but you get, you're so nosy, buddy. You get in the way of everything. All right. I'm gonna try to get, this guy asks for 30 to 45 pounds, man. That is a lot. So 30 to 45, let's just go 35 and see what we got. So I'm gonna try to get one of these done and see what we got. hard when you're going against the grain you know I'm going against myself <sighs> I didn't even get a click out of that <sighs> I didn't get a click out of that <sighs> not of that either Or that one. All right. I'm going to try it this way, guys, but it's kind of hard because I'm going to put my leg against it. Dang. 
Dang. Dang. I can't even get a single click out of this thing. Let's try 33. Hopefully I can get a click out of 33. There we go. It said 30 to 45. All right. All right. All right. All right, one more, guys. All right. All right, let me get all this crap and put it away. Whew. I'm telling you guys, man, I get burnt out so fast. Ugh. Okay, guys, what do you think of that wheel? Dang, thing's beautiful, huh? And the rotors are black on the insides. They're black and chrome. So... That's gonna look pretty good with the chrome nipples, I think. So I'm gonna box these up, man, and if it's not too late, I'm gonna go drop them off at the shop. So hey guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys like the wheels. I can't wait to get them mounted and balanced and then get them back. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm gonna be able to get this bike done now. So hey, listen, I wanted to run something by you guys. Look, I've been trying to do this giveaway with two bikes, a 2009 Ultra. Those of you who have been following my channel know exactly what I'm talking about. And a 2010 Street Glide. I built the Ultra like a year and a half ago. I built the Street Glide late last year. I got it completed late last year, I believe. And um, I've been trying to do this for a while, man. The channel's growing slow. I started a full-time job in January. So I'm not able to work on the bikes as, as uh, much as I'd like to. But what I wanted to run down to you guys is listen i got 97 hats and uh, t-shirts left for this giveaway 2009 ultra classic man the bike's been both of them have been completely gone through i'm going to do something that i hope helps the channel grow and i'm not doing it just for that i'm doing it because i'm big on charity i want to start donating at least ten dollars a month to saint jude's for cancer I mentioned in a previous video that I lost my dad to cancer at 54 in 1997 and I lost my wife lost her uh, mother who was I believe 64 or 65 to cancer like eight years ago. We were both left, you know, very broken hearted. And another thing is that I, I have a law enforcement background. You know, I love my country. I love my law enforcement brothers and sisters. I don't care who you are, where you're from, if you're a good person, whether you're an investigator, you know, you work the uh, prisons, the county, I don't care what you are, man. You, to me, you guys are all my brothers and sisters. And I wasn't in the military, but a lot of my family members and a lot of my wife's family members and both of our children are currently serving or have served in the active military, a lot of my friends. And so... I don't know if you guys ever heard of Tunnels to Towers. They ask that people donate $11 a month to help homeless veterans who are currently disabled and fallen military or spouses who were left behind, families who were left behind. They ask that you donate $11 a month. And what they do is they pay off mortgages or they have custom homes built for disabled veterans or disabled officers who cannot function in a regular home. So they modify their homes, they rebuild them new homes, and I wanna be a part of that, man. That's a big thing in my heart. So every item that I sell, whether it's a hat or a t-shirt, I wanna donate $11 a month to Tunnels to Towers. That's starting immediately. So my hats right now are currently $75. I'm going to raise them up because I want to start being a part of that. And I'm hoping that you guys will help me support that charity as well and to help our, our homeless veterans, our disabled veterans, widows and widowers who served in the military or law enforcement. Do me a favor, head over to Tunnels to Towers and watch some of the videos on there and you'll be blown away with, with the, the work they're doing. Mark Wahlberg's part of it. Cole Hauser, I believe from... Uh, from a Yellowstone, he's a part of that, and I wanna be a part of that as well. So 
you know, if you're interested in winning a Harley and serving a good cause as well, $11 out of every item I sell is going to go to Tunnels to Towers. The next giveaway I start, I want to start doing Tunnels to Towers for every item I sell and to St. Jude's as well. I want to donate $10 a month or $10 from every item that I sell to St. Jude's as well. So do me a favor, man. Join the cause with me. Buy a hat. Buy a t-shirt. Men's and women's. The sizes are all on the website, jcustombills.com. Not only will you be supporting a good cause, but you will also be entering a chance to win a beautiful, beautiful Harley Davidson that's been completely rebuilt and restored by me, bigjohnjcustombills.com. So if you're interested in winning a Harley and supporting a good cause, head over to jcustombuilds.com right now. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt, a multiple. There's no limit on the entries that you can buy. There's 97 slots left. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. If you have not subscribed to the channels, please hit that like button. It really helps grow. I'm like at 850 something or almost 8. 60 right now i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers man i'd like to get monetized if i can so do me a favor support the channel if you ride always remember to ride safe take care in everything you do love your families and uh, god bless <music>